you're walking around campus, it may be hard to believe that just four to six feet below you is a whole nother world. Once we get into the tunnel, we'll stop them and chat a little bit more. Head down the steps, under some piping, and duck as we travel just feet below students walking to class. I love showing people MSU and I love pe showing people the hidden parts of MSU and aspects of our energy and, and systems. I'll go 700 feet deep. We get a greater temperature differential. Going 700 feet deep, that's for those geothermal fields like the one by Romney Hall. That field is expected to reduce about a million pounds of carbon emissions a year. But that's not all that goes through these tunnels. Look around and follow the track of water pipes. MSU saves around 25 million gallons of water a year through this hidden network right under our feet. It's such an amazing space and it's something people don't usually think about. But believe me, a lot of thought was put into this highway of piping. We're going to take a little walk now and head down underneath Grant Street. You know, we're finding many new uses for the tunnels with our energy districts as a way that we can move energy between buildings. Like moving heat from Jabs Hall to Johnson Hall, a little over two dozen people got to see the tunnels firsthand, and Duke Elliott sums it up the best. This wonderful infrastructure that we have underneath MSU. The tunnel tours began right here, and we went everywhere from underneath the sub to beneath the spirit of the Bobcat statue and under Wilson Hall. And as the campus grows, well, so will the tunnels. At Montana State University, Jane McDonald, MTN News.